Okay, guys. Um, part of recovering from a broken heart is doing things that you love and enjoy. <laughs> and I got my puppy dog in the back. We're about to go on a run. Um, so if you hear her whimper, it's because she knows we're here already. But before we get out, I want to show you guys something else that I did. Um, I live out in the boonies, right? And there's nothing out there. So um, I have to make a drive if I want to do anything fun. <laughs> I mean, it's fun at my house. So, But there's a bakery. Um, there's a bakery down in Blanchard, Oklahoma. It's called Generations Bakery. If you ever get a chance to go to it, highly recommend it. Um, the people who, who own it... Um, they are people who love the Lord, and their baked goods are awesome. Let me show you one of my new favorites. Um, one of my new favorites is, I got, this is their, um, I can't really see it too well. This, uh, yeah. Uh, well, the pe this isn't going to do it justice. It's a, um, it's a lemon blueberry biscuit. And you might be like, oh, what? A biscuit? But it's not, it's like a dessert. It tastes like a dessert. It tastes amazing. Um, they bake it fresh. In fact, it's actually still, it's too warm. <laughs> um, and they put a, a light, they do put a light um, frosting, but it's not like overly sugary at all. It's like just right. And I look for that all the time because I personally, guys, I do not like things that are too sweet. Um, I'm just, I just don't like it too sweet. A little bit of sweet, tasteful sweet, yes. But then there comes a time where it's too sweet. Ugh. Now, the other thing I did was, when there was a farmer's market um, this year, uh, there was a lady that crocheted these hair breadths. I got one, loved it, accidentally broke it. So today, I um, met up with her and got a bunch more. <laughs> These are awesome. So I've been asked, I'm actually probably going to take this other hairbrush out here in a bit, but um, uh, I've been asked about my hair, how I keep it since it's so long. Uh, my hair definitely, it's not as thick as it used to be because of um, life. <laughs> they say as you get older, your hair thins, but it's also when I've had, the times when I've been sick, the way that my, like really sick, the way my body reacted was I just lost a lot of hair. Um, but for the most part though healthy hair i have try to you know put little bits of trims here and there it's always been kind of long but how you hold your hair um is so important for for the ladies who've been who've asked me before this i mean there's like silk hair brits hair ties um i've heard that works too but this is right away when i had um this is my new one and i got other new ones um she made these amazing crocheted them or knitted them but right away I noticed the difference in my hair as far as like even just feeling better because your hair it's weird because it's like dead cells right but it's weird how it it's very much alive in its own right <laughs> and um I felt the difference even on the feeling of my hair so right like as opposed to just a regular tie like a rubber tie or whatever um this is much softer and it's healthier on the hair it doesn't pull so I got in these different colors. She's amazing. She makes them in different colors. Um, then, because I am a harpist and I'm about to be doing more music for the winter, she also made these for me. Um, these gloves with an opening for my fingers. Isn't that cool? This is just one because I'm holding the phone with my other one. Um, yeah. So really, really exciting. Um, she even... Look at this guy's a red one. <laughs> Um, there's just, there's so much, so many things, um, but I know I can't make this video too long and my puppy's getting anxious and I don't want to have her wait too long, but, um, one of the things that I tend to not do when I'm sad is I actually don't really drink coffee or eat very well. And today I'm telling myself I'm going to eat better and I am going to drink coffee. Um, I have had some coffee, but I mean, I drink, I've drink, um, decaf coffee. I'm going to have some good regular I'm gonna have some regular coffee <laughs> a big cup of it today um and that's my advice to you if, if you are going through something hard difficult painful loss um find things you love to do even when you don't feel like doing it make yourself do it get out there 
And that's what I'm doing. I'm making myself uh, do the things that I, you know, normally enjoy like normal. Um, pushing myself, uh, doing that. And then I also wanted to share this too. A couple things. A little bit of a feedback from my last two videos for some of the reactions I had. One, the first one, when I initially shared about bro having a broken heart, they were like, oh, you'll... Uh, someone was kind of trying to be nice, saying you'll you'll meet someone. And I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> what I was sharing that video was hopefully my pain to be helpful to someone else if someone else is struggling. But no, not asking for sympathy, not saying that I'm looking for someone else. I'm definitely not. Um, I see what took place as God sharing with me that um, I'm to just stay married to him and, and I'm okay with that. One of the awesome things about having lived alone the past five years is that I have no fear of growing old alone. Like I've gotten to live what, what it's like to be alone. Probably the only thing that makes me kind of sad if I think about it too much is when I get older, older, I can't keep all the same um, animals. That part's probably the part uh, that's hard for me because like, I, um, I, I like I, I love well I love taking care of animals it's it's part of a <laughs> it's part of who I am since I was a little girl it's like part of my identity it feels like just taking care of animals and and uh, I don't know maybe I can still have like some little birds when I'm really old but um, but as far as the living alone part um, you know I I'm okay um, but maybe I will be so blessed to have to adopt too I don't know we'll see. Um, but the other thing too, a little bit of feedback on was it wasn't, it's not just, even though I didn't vote this year, it's not just the fact that, um, uh, that for Trump, that he's at least in, again, in spoken word, um, against abortion, um, and for Israel, but also the other thing that was an issue, um, was that Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris, <laughs> Kamala Harris, uh, I mean, as, as Americans showed in their voting, um, her and Biden have not done enough with the situation with illegal immigration. And Americans, we love immigrants who come here to work hard and to be American citizens. Illegal immigrants, especially the, uh, the ones who are murderers and thieves that come across the border, we've had no protection from. So that's a huge issue for the American people. And for Trump, you know, there's things about Trump we we don't love. <laughs> there's things about Trump we don't like. Um, you know, there's ways that he is that we don't like, but we also appreciate um, that he has, um, you know, has made an effort. You know, with, regardless of a personality that you may not like, he's made an effort. So, yes, I've been glad that between the two, um, that Trump won. Um, right away, like in Israel, I know my, uh, my rabbi from service where I go, um, he, uh, shared about how these really awesome pictures of how Israel has already got like billboards all over Israel saying, congratulations to Trump, um, make Israel great. Um, so it's, it's, it's so great to see so much positivity. Um, you know, we definitely put our trust in the Lord, but for whatever reason, for such a time as this, God's using Trump, and I thank God for that, um, for whatever it is, and just pray for protection for Trump, because that's probably the biggest thing that I think about is the uh, attempts of assassination on him, and his presidency hadn't even begun again yet, so prayers for him, prayers for the people, there's a lot of people who are really hurting that Trump won and not Kamala, so this is not a time to be uh, rude. I, I don't have any desire for that. I, I definitely see a lot of mean things out there and this is a time to love each other, time for the American people to heal, um, to come together and also remember that we are a nation. We are not just one president. We are a nation of people um, under God, indivisible with life and liberty for all. Amen. Love you all. Shalom, shalom. I'm gonna go take my pup out now.